Hello guys, welcome back on netstrikers.com. My name is Aditya Dubey and in this video we are going to learn about the data annotation. Now I guess I you, are, you have already watched my previous tutorials on MVC. I hope you liked it and thank you for your support till now. Now in this video we are going to learn about the data annotation. Now let us understand the definition about the data annotation in a much simpler way. Data annotations are the attributes which are used to perform validation on the server side and it is being done on the models only. Now, I have created a action method called as tw uh, tutorials and it also consists of a view page. So let me just dive into the view which is called as an HTML page. So this is just a normal form for the user and user will going to fill out the user ID, username and age and click on the submit button and as soon as you click on the submit button the action called as save user will be called followed by the method post. Now the save user is defined as the home controller which takes the user object, binds that object with a certain set of value which is being provided by the user in the text field and it returns the view. Now save user is also a view, likewise you can dive into the save user, just click on the right click and go to view and it will just print the user id, username and age in just a simpler manner. I think you have watched my previous tutorials where I have mentioned about how to use or how to pass data from one side to another or from the controller to view and vice versa. So if you have problem in understanding this, I would recommend you to please go back and watch my previous tutorials on how to pass data from one end to another. Now what's the concept of data annotation in this context? So before that let me just run this application so that you can understand how this application flows normally. Now I'm going to click on the Google Chrome. Let me just wait for a while till the application get loaded. So this is just a normal poor HTML page which I have designed. Sorry for my poor designing. Now in this segment I am going to pass the user id. So I, it could be user id could be 1, username could be Aditya, user age could be 21 and just I am click. I am just going to click on the submit button and as soon as I, as I click on the submit button you get to see user id 1, aditya, name and age 21 displayed over here. So this is just a normal. But what would happen if I want to restrict the user to do not send the null value over here. That means I don't want to allow user to send the empty value. So I am just going to click uh, remove this value which has been provided over here and I am just going to pass the age which is 21. As soon as I click on the submit button, you get to see the null value or the zero value has been passed and user is not able to see any sort of value. So I want to restrict that user and apart from that I want to restrict, I want to supply more restriction to it so that it can, uh, username could uh, consist of only alphabet or the new, uh, all the normal just letters and user age must be only in the numeric format user id cannot be null and blah 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 stuff like that. So I want to restrict the user for the validation. Now how, how we can perform the validation? Let's get started. Now to perform the validation let me just stop the application so that I could uh, do editing on this user part. So as I have created the model class for the user which consists of the user id, username and age. So if I want to uh, allow a user to restrict or I want to restrict the user to at least send some value in it so I just need to use the required attribute of the data annotation but make sure you have to use or you have to import this data annotation namespace which is decided into the system component models of the data annotation so I'm just going to go to the line 12 and I'm just going to type required now this is just a normal attribute in the data annotation which will mark the field as mandatory and it should be filled by the user itself. So this is a very common concept which you can understand and uh, similarly I want to restrict the user to do entry in the username and age as well. So I have marked the field as required that means user must enter this value in order to get the data. So let me just do one more thing inside the tutorials CSHTML page I want to also inform the user that he should uh, see the validation messages for 
to uh, to display the validation message for the user i just need to type html followed by the validation summary that's it now this will allow the user to see what's the validation message is all about he's going to see on his screen now we are not done yet we need to do little more stuff over here inside of save user method which we have created which will be called when the user object will get filled i want to check his model state whether this uh, user object has been filled or not according to the convention which has been supplied into the data notation we need to check that so how we are going to check just supply the if condition and type model state dot is valid now is valid is a property which will return true if and only if the user validation is passed successfully so i'm just going to pass this return view over here and if user doesn't fill the certain value which is been required so he will going to see the similar page from which he is entering his value so to do so let me just copy this tutorial just remove it and inside the view i'm going to pass the tutorial action result page which is the same page at which user is performing the data entry operation so let me just build and run this application so let me just build as you can see build success succeeded successfully i'm going to click on the google chrome and let me just dive into the home tutorial page wait for a while okay application loaded successfully now i'm going to supply the user id normally just like we did earlier username followed by the aditya username user age will be 21 and i'm going to click on submit as you can see values displayed right now i'm going to again click on the back button and this time i'm not going to supply the username and the user age as well what will happen if i click on the submit button let's find out so as you can see data notation validation summary message displayed over here that is the username field is required the age field is required and this all has been done from the server side only as we just write our uh, wrote our code now i have also wrote written a code for the user id that it should not also be empty so let me just click on the submit button only and let's see what happen and as you can see one more message prompted over here that is user id field is required username field is required the age field is required so it's very useful for the validation po point of view now what if if you want to supply more validation that is a user name must be within the age uh, sorry must be within the length of only 7 characters and it should not exceed more than 7 characters so you can do that restriction as well so for that let me just close this application for now so stop this application and inside the user model class which we have created we just need to supply one more attribute before it so the attribute name it as string length and which will take the parameter as you can see from the message over here string length attribute takes the one parameter only which is in the integer format called as maximum length and the maximum length of this uh, character would be 7 it should not exceed more than 7 characters so i'm going to type string length over here now let me just rerun our application to see the changes what happened on the server side so let me just again run the same page which is inside the home controller called tutorial section now this time i am going to supply the user id as one username it as aditya since aditya has 7 character i am going to extend it out by typing my surname as well which is dubey which which is of course exceeded more than 7 characters and user age is 21 i am going to click on submit button and as you can see the field username must be a string with a maximum length of 7 so that's how a data annotation validation is very helpful for us so i hope you liked it and in our next tutorial we are going to dive further into the data annotation where we are going to perform also the regular expression i hope you liked it if you have any suggestions or doubt please do let me ask in the youtube comment section your suggestions are always welcome until then enjoy life bye bye